Hey guys, it's me again. Coming back for another video. Sorry for the background mess. Um, I really just want to show you guys, because I'm trying to install this mod here, which is going to be for the, uh, the, the cable in this case, for the bed cable. As you may know, um, in a lot of these ones, in these machines specifically for the S1 Pros, I'm not sure if the S1s have the same issue, but uh, basically what's happening is that the cable is just getting snagged on either the stepper motor itself, which would be this one right here, or along here through this plastic. So I went ahead and printed this mod. Link in the description down below. It's from Printables, uh, which basically does mitigate that. The only issue here is that due to the um, it being more constrained of movement, when the bed reaches the um when it's trying to reach uh, up here it, it kind of gets stuck here and because of this extra space it doesn't allow it to reach its full range uh, so what we're going to try and do here is we're going to see if we can release a little bit of the cable that's inside of the machine you can actually make this cable a little bit longer uh, and sometimes you can actually just pull in it here a little bit and it'll kind of slide out a little bit there but in my case that's not going to be possible so i'm going to have to take the um take the back plate off of the printer and hopefully i can just uh, unravel a little bit of extra cable here so what we're going to do is we're going to flip the printer to its side okay so now that you have your printer on its side you're going to have to remove the screen um, in order for it to tilt fully and we're going to remove these four screws it's going to be this one this one this one this one and these two right here not the outside ones. This one's that one that holds your, your Z gantry in place. So you'll need two millimeters for those tiny ones and a four millimeter for this ones. If you can get your printer a little bit up to the edge of your table, it's going to be a lot more helpful. Okay. All right, so now with those four screws removed, um, if you have anything else, like in my case, I have this little tab from the print itself. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. There we go. And you want to be careful for these cables here, this one as well. You want, kind of want to slip it through to the side there so that it releases um, this thing here. Now, you would also want to remove, if you want to remove the whole assembly of the whole plate, then you're going to have to remove this fan connector right here. Hopefully you can see it. In some cases, it might have glue on it, and you'll have to remove the glue from it uh, in order to remove it. Look, there's a whole plate. And here's the internals. I'm going to lower my tripod a bit. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a better image right there. Um, and the cable that we're going to try and pull a little bit on is going to be this one right here. Uh, it's going to be the thick black one. And um, let's see. Get some light down here. So the cable itself kind of splits here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it splits into primarily these, um, this black and yellow cable, red cable, all these. And there's also a small ground cable that's going right there. You want to be very careful um, not to snag any of them. But from here, what you could try and do is pull on the cable a little bit until you get some pressure from it. Now, the thing that might happen is that this might come off. If it does, then... Um, just want to make sure everything stays tidy there. 
Now you might not be able to get these cables back in or this clip back in properly. So try and get as many as you can. And just make sure there's not snagging on anything so that once you um, put the back plate back on, it, it'll easily um, fit into place like it should. And you want to be very careful with this one. Make sure there's enough room up here. If this is too, if this got moved up a little bit, you're going to have a pretty hard time in um, putting the plate back on. So with that, I've released a bit of the cable that was inside of there, about this much approximately, which is should be enough just to get the um, cable to move all the way forward. So let me see if I can do a quick test here. So that actually works great. So let's see. I'm going to see if the plate will actually fit with that on. I don't think it will, but let me try. I'm going to reconnect the fan back in. Oh, sorry, the fan remember goes up there. So here's where it gets kind of tricky. So it's not going to fit with this, um, with that clip there on the way from the, from the um, 3D print itself. So I'm going to remove that. And um, you want to, before you put it back together, you want to route those cables around, uh, primarily the one on the bottom. So let's find that cable. You see that cable right there? I kind of want it like that. That's for your screen cable. Just like that. You want this cable kind of poking out through that hole there. And same thing for the top one for the for that one there. Okay, so you want to make sure everything sits flush. In my case, it does. And I'll put these big ones in first. Okay, so with that secure in there, put in the next one. Okay, just verify everything's flush. If something's not flush, if it's not fitting in nice, that means um, you may have pulled the cable and it's interfering with, with the back plate. So now that we have those two installed, I'm going to install these ones back in, the small ones. Be careful not to pull your printer too much off of the of the edge of your table, otherwise you do risk dropping it. Okay, so that's those two. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we're going to tighten these two. You want to have these pretty snug because, again, those are the ones that are holding your, um, your Z gantry, X gantry, extruder, everything. Okay, so now I'm going to flip the printer over.
and um, we will verify if it now pulls all the way through. Let's see, that's something. Yep. So I can tell it's reaching its limit now because of the little thumping. So that's good. That's exactly what I want. And um, just reconnect the screen again. And uh, there we go. So that's how you would extend your um, bed cables just a little bit to give you enough extra, just to give you enough uh, extra slack for you to get the, the printer. itself there so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fully um, assemble the, the 3d printed part itself so this part itself is pretty simple to make and uh, assemble um, basically um, all you do is the following So you'll basically print three of these chains and then there's one of these, and then they'll all connect together to uh, this plate right here. Don't remember the names of each thing. And the way you wanna install it is by doing the following. Get you some more light here. So what I did was I just basically did this. Then from the bottom, kind of try to get it in from the bottom there and then just push it upwards like this. And that's pretty secure. And then actually take this piece here. You push it into that little hole there where the cable for the stepper motor comes out of. And then you just align it. It fits just like that. So that's not going anywhere. And then you grab your little um, clips. I believe these are the clips that I remember. Nope but basically just snap them into place. Okay. Okay, and there we go. So at this point, you're basically all done. Again, just verify you have enough length of your cable. Hopefully you can just do this without having to disassemble anything. But in case you, you know, you printed them out and you're having issues with your um, bed not coming forward as much as it should, then you can always release that cable a little bit more to have a little bit more slack there. So I hope you guys uh, found this uh, helpful. Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you did. And um, we'll see you in the next video.